Hello, I am Scantaneous Combustion. Today, I wanted to do something different. Um, I know this channel is for gaming, but I wanted to pay my respects. On this day, the 16th of uh, December 2014, a gunman held a large group of people hostage in a lint chocolate shop in central Sydney. The siege ended a few hours ago, which resulted in heavily armed police raiding the shop. Three people were killed, including the gunman. A barrister and mother of three, Katrina Dawson and Lint Cafe manager Tori Johnson, tragically lost their lives. The events that happened today were horrific, and considering how close it is to Christmas, it's a heavy blow to all Australians. I send my condolences to the families of the victims in this event. If you didn't know already, I'm an Australian who lives in London on a working holiday. I have been for the last four years. I've always been a proud Australian, but the last couple of years I've watched my country from afar and it seems to me that we are just losing the spirit that we once had. Being an Australian means living in one of the luckiest countries in the world. That everyone has a fair go, that you help your mates out, and that doesn't just mean your friends, it means your next door neighbour, it means your fellow man. And also, our spirit of volunteering is something to mention. Australia has one of the largest counts of volunteers to population in the world, and being an ex-rule firefighter myself, I'm very, very proud to be an Australian. We've always supported each other as a people, regardless of our heritage and our beliefs. I say this because the events of today will spark a lot of unrest between certain groups of Australians. My message is to say that let us not be controlled by the actions of one radical. There are always extremes in every ideology, and we can't let these outliers make us point fingers at each other. I don't want to go into specific details, but basically the way that some Australians treat ethnic and religious minorities is saddening. In this sense, it makes me very sad to be called an Australian. We are a democratic, educated nation, but still the way we treat each other is archaic. Our greatest enemy, it seems, is ourselves, the Australian people. The events of today are tragic for the families of the victims and for Australians as a whole. But let it be the catalyst to bind us closer together as a people, no matter where you are in the country and the globe. Australians are travellers. We are nomadic in culture. We can be found anywhere in the world, but every single one of us understands what it means when I say I will always call Australia home, no matter the circumstances. We should never forget who we are and where our roots came from. That is every Australian's right to do so, but it's something we have forgotten in this strange contemporary age of change. So let us find the real enemies within ourselves and throughout the world. Let us not lash out against those who we think may have hurt us, but instead stand up against narrow-mindedness, those who lack tolerance, equality, and respect for each other. We should never forget that we are one, but we are many. We come from many lands across the earth, but we are all Australian.